man arrested for drunk driving in January could have simply paid a fine if it hadn't been for the family of a man he killed 17 years ago. Sam Wolf's family had been checking to make sure Alfonso King's lifetime driving suspension stuck, and it didn't. Local 12's Deborah Dixon shows us the difference that has made. Back in January, Alfonso King can barely get out of his car after he passed out at a traffic light near Hamilton Avenue. I think you're a little intoxicated this evening. When King could not pass a field sobriety test, he was charged with OVI. Records did not show he wasn't supposed to be driving in the first place. His privileges were suspended for life after he killed a man in 2000 while driving drunk. The wife of the victim from the 2000 case called our office and said, look, you know, Alfonso King killed my husband and, you know, while driving drunk. That November night, Sam Wolf was a manager at the Western Hotel. His six-year-old son, Alex, and wife were going to meet him downtown to look at Christmas lights, but the weather was lousy. Sam worked an extra shift instead. Early that morning, Sam was driving home on Columbia Parkway when Alfonso King had just left a bar on Kellogg Avenue and was driving drunk. According to the police report, he was speeding when he crossed the center line, hit Sam head on, and killed him. My son never had the, the dad at the football game. My son never had the dad at the graduation. You know, for my son, my son's the biggest victim of all. He doesn't know what he missed. Today, Mary Wolf sat behind King in a courtroom. The case is now more serious because the family made sure prosecutors knew about the aggravated vehicular homicide. The court did what it was supposed to do, the prosecution did what it was supposed to do, but somehow it never got communicated to the BMV. Mary said she's sending a message by being in court. For the rest of my life, my son's life, everybody's life, we're not going to let Sam be forgotten and we're not going to let him get away with driving drunk. Mary Wolf said her family will always keep track of King to make sure he can't hurt anyone else again. Deborah Dixon, Local 12 News. If convicted, King faces a possible four-year prison term. He served more than five years after killing Sam Wolf.